okay, just give it to us. Just, just why? What is the conclusion? These kind of tech YouTubers are out of the mouth, but these are very, very frustrating topics that I've uh, watched many videos on people saying, hey, that's awesome, you have so much money and you can destroy stuff, and why, why couldn't you just give it to us? You'll understand what I'm talking about after you look at this. The title of this video was like there was some really big competition going on with an iPhone and an app. How much of these people try, they still get more dislikes than likes. While this is going on, on the other hand, this guy is in a whole another level. About five seconds, all good. Oh yeah. Get it nice and... Who are you expecting? for it to come out without any sort of problems. Moreover that, what was the conclusion? Did he get anything done that's useful to anybody? No. Help somebody? No. Literally, this is for their entertainment. I don't think this guy can sleep without breaking a phone a day, you know? We have now got a new video up on, uh, uh by this new, by this, um, what was the name again? Yeah, this Muslim. This Muslim. He has now uploaded a new Katana scratch test video. Okay, so the video's title was supposedly a scratch test. We just had a little bit of fun and we hit with a katana and we call it a scratch test. Don't drop your iPhone 6s in hot lava. Yeah, we're good, we're good. You can see it's on. Let's go ahead and see what happens, guys. Oh, shit. So it's about to heat it up, as you can see. I thought about putting my iPhone in lava, but now that I know not to do that, thanks. I was going to go all the way to some far away place where there's an active volcano and I was going to drop my iPhone 6s. Thank you for saving me. Definitely keep this in mind the next time I go near my local active volcano. The Apple said that the iPhone 7 was water resistant. We are going to put it in di four different types of soda and test if the water resistance still holds up. So let's go. It covers the surface. Next is the Sprite. Since I don't have any iPhone 7s to test here, I'm gonna test something else. Hey guys, Blockbuster Tech here, and today we're gonna be doing the water test of these three tissue paper pods. So what I've got here is the uh, mineral water, which is from the RO, and here I've got rain water, and here is just water. So we're going to be testing how well these tissue papers hold up against these different kind of water. So let's put these in. We'll be put uh, 24 hours and then we'll check it out uh, if the, uh, if the uh, tissue papers get wet. So yeah, let's check it out. So as you can see, I'm going to put these in here. So I'm just going to put it in here. This way. And let's check back after 24 hours. So I'll see you there. There. Okay guys, so it's been 24 hours and uh, let's uh, get the papers out, so, um, oh, it's, it's feeling like it's wet guys, oh no guys, it's, it's wet, so you guys can see it's, uh, the paper is completely wet, so the mineral water paper is completely wet, but we still have hope guys for the rainwater, so let's pick this up. Oh my god, guys, this also looks like it's wet. Uh, we still have hope for the normal water, though. So, put that to the side. And the normal water, guys, the normal water is wet, too. Oh, guys, I really thought this one would survive, but it didn't. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you all the next time. Anyways guys, that was a video on why I'm not a fan of these people who make videos like this and you know, put uh, precious technology to waste and basically leave everyone saying, you could have given me that, I would have used it way better than you did. So yeah, that is true and I'm not a big fan of these people who make such videos and I hope they, you know, come to their senses in the future. Anyways guys, this is your Apple Sheep and I'll see you all the next one.